we're in Tokyo for the launch of the latest version of an all-new electric car and people were getting excited. But first things first. Right, most important part of the day, I found some coffee. Incredibly, Nissan has been producing electric cars since 1947. Fast forward 70 years and the big moment was approaching. This was a big day for Nissan and they had gone big. So this is it, world's premiere of the second generation of the LEAF. Very, very excited. There are 4,000 seats in this auditorium. There are about 1,500 members of the media expected. And uh, we should get a look at the car probably in about the next 20 minutes. Thank you. Impressive graphics. And here it is, the second generation Nissan Leaf. After a few speeches by the big cheeses at Nissan and a bit of a media scrum, we were finally allowed to get on stage and have our first experience of the car. The new Leaf has power outputs of 110 kilowatts and a strong 320 newton meters of torque. Nissan claims it is capable of double the range of the model it replaces at 400 kilometers on a single charge. This is further than the new Tesla Model 3 for which Tesla claims 350 kilometers and the current BMW i3 which BMW claims will travel 315 kilometers on a single charge. Incredibly, the new Leaf will go on sale in Japan for roughly the same price as the old model and I'm hoping that is the case back home. The previous generation Leaf was listed at 500,000 Rand in South Africa. The Leaf is obviously packed with tech, but the three technologies you need to know about are ProPilot, ProPilot Park and ePedal. ProPilot is a new single lane autonomous driving feature, which as far as I can tell, doesn't require any input from the driver, as long as the car can clearly see the lane markings. The car will steer, brake, accelerate and manage the distance to the car in front for an indefinite amount of time. ProPilot Park should spell the end of your parking woes. The system uses four imaging cameras and 12 ultrasonic sensors to automatically detect parking bays and steer itself into the bay, without the need for other cars to be around. And the new e-pedal system is designed so that you can forget about the brake pedal. Using just the accelerator, the car will accelerate, decelerate and brake and hold itself on a hill. Nissan says that drivers can use the e-pedal for 90% of their driving needs. On a 6 kW home charger, the LEAF will fully recharge in 8 hours. However, on a quick charging station, it will charge up to 80% in 40 minutes. At the moment in Japan, there are 7,200 quick charging public stations. In Cape Town, I think we have about four. But Nissan and BMW have teamed up to roll out electric vehicle charging stations across South Africa. So that's going to be critical to the adoption of electric vehicles back home. The interior is a premium blend of the old and the new. The leather upholstery and blue stitching work well to create an upmarket feel. Some of the switchgear is borrowed from other Nissan products, but everyday items like the gear selector feel very out of the ordinary. The instruments are dominated by a large digital screen and Apple CarPlay is standard, 
but there's no mention of Android Auto. Right, time for lunch, which looked like some sort of science experiment. Sorry, what is that? Tiramisu. Tiramisu? Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> and this was some sort of Avatar-inspired candy floss lemonade. I've been given this black cube, which apparently contains food. Mm. Yeah, I've never tasted anything like that. The next day, we were given a tour of the factory where leafs are built. The leaf is built on exactly the same production line as some of Nissan's other cars, an important innovation and a key factor in lowering the cost of the vehicle. This plant produces 900 cars every day and 140 of those will be Leafs, destined for at least 49 countries. Right, there we go, the new Nissan Leaf. It's out, it's on sale in Japan and will probably reach overseas markets next year, 2018. It's been good fun, it's been really cool to see a brand new electric car in the market and I look forward to driving it back home in South Africa. Thanks for watching.